Let's talk about the mouth and the tongue for a moment. Bruxism, tongue scalloping, and macroglossia. Macroglossia is enlarged tongue. When the tongue doesn't quite fit into the mouth and there's just not enough space to house it. See, when the tongue is too large in an awake defined position, and then we go to sleep and that tongue expands in that tonic state that you learned about in the introduction to sleep apnea course, we start to realize that if there's not enough space to the tongue when we're awake, it only gets worse when we go to sleep. Additionally, when the tongue is too large, it can cause us, while having apneic events, to thrust our tongue forward against the back of the teeth. As this happens over many nights, weeks, months, and eventually years, we start to see that the teeth leave permanent impressions on our tongue, otherwise known as tongue scalloping. When we have an apnea, the brain sends a signal down to the mouth. It does push our tongue forward, but that's not the only thing it pushes forward. Often, it'll send the entire jaw forward. The only thing that our body and mind is thinking at this point in time is our, in our half-wake stupor is open the airway. So our tongue goes forward and our teeth go upward and forward, causing what is often called bruxism. This bruxism is another one of those intraoral signs that we can see in patients who have sleep apnea. Studies have shown that between 50 to 70% of patients who have bruxism also have obstructive sleep apnea. Additionally, when those patients were treated with a night guard instead of an oral appliance, we found that those patients had worse apnea. So it is our recommendation that if you have anyone who you suspect needs a night guard, that you first rule out obstructive sleep apnea as the cause of their bruxism. So for review, macroglossia or an enlarged tongue that gets in the way of air traveling through our throat, tongue scalloping, which is a sign that the tongue is being thrust forward repeatedly over months or years and leaving permanent impressions in the base of the tongue or the top of the tongue, is a sign that our mouth is causing our features to go forward and get those impressions through continual impact. And bruxism, the grinding of our teeth as a physiological response to an obstruction of our airway. These are just three of the signs and symptoms of sleep apnea that we're gonna be going through, but three major and common signs and symptoms that we'll see most frequently in our patients.